In the world of chess, historic clashes between chess prodigies and seasoned champions have always captivated the imagination of enthusiasts. One such legendary encounter took place when a young and relatively unknown Magnus Carlsen challenged the undisputed chess king, Garry Kasparov. So, how did a teenager manage to challenge the greatest chess player of all time, Garry Kasparov? What daring strategies did Magnus employ to dismantle the formidable defenses of the chess genius? Buckle up for a chess spectacle like no other, as we unravel the secrets behind this legendary match. Let me take you back to the year 2004, when a 13-year-old chess prodigy, Magnus Carlsen was about to make history at the Reykjavik Rapid Tournament in Iceland. The stage is set, the clocks are ticking down, and the legendary Kasparov is nowhere to be seen. But fear not, as we see here, the chess maestro finally emerges, and the stakes are sky high. Despite losing valuable time on the clock, he arranges his pieces, and the battle begins. It's a classic clash of styles, as Magnus kicks things off with pawn to d4, and Kasparov retaliates with a queen's pawn move, known as the slob defense. Did you know that this defense is commonly used to counter the queen's gambit? The game quickly evolves into a queen's gambit decline, with Kasparov moving his knight to d7, and the center of the board becomes the battleground. Magnus secures his defense, focusing on the middle squares, while Kasparov cleverly pins Magnus's knight on c3, creating tension and excitement. Kasparov's moves force Magnus to defend the pin, weakening his knight's influence on the board. The Grandmaster reinforces the pin with his bishop on b4, and Magnus counters by moving his queen to c2, defending his knights. Both players castle, preparing for the impending confrontation. And the moment arrives. Kasparov launches his attack, playing pawn to d4, seizing control of the center. But wait, Magnus strikes back with a brilliant fork on the queen and pawn, forcing Kasparov to retreat and regain control of the center with his own pawn. With the game hanging in the balance, Magnus places his bishop on c4, gaining a slight advantage, but the clock is ticking relentlessly. Kasparov pulls off a strategic move, threatening a potential checkmate if he can get his queen to a2. This is where things can take a wild turn, as one misstep could spell instant defeat for Magnus. But Magnus proves his mettle, creating some breathing room for his king, surviving the critical moment. Now, both players unleash their tactical skills, trading blows, and maneuvering with precision. It's a gripping back-and-forth battle, with Magnus demonstrating incredible skill at only 13 years old. Magnus seizes the initiative, launching an aggressive attack, threatening to win material from Kasparov. His strategic play leads to an exchange of queens, leaving him with a slight advantage. But Kasparov's resourcefulness can never be underestimated. As the game approaches the endgame, Magnus maintains his composure, outmaneuvering the world champion. With a one-pawn advantage, the young prodigy proves that age is just a number when it comes to the game of kings. They dance on the board, exchanging checks and playing accurate moves. Both refuse to back down, showing unparalleled determination. Magnus exploits his advantage, checking Kasparov's king with a rook, inching closer to victory. Kasparov retaliates, threatening to win a pawn, but Magnus defends with tenacity. In the end, both players acknowledge the brilliance of their moves and shake hands, agreeing on a draw. But that's not all. The unchess prodigy wasn't done yet. In the same tournament, Magnus went on to do something truly remarkable. He defeated the former world champion, Anatoly Karpov. It was a moment that left everyone in awe of his skills. And here's a delightful tidbit to end on. After his hard-fought draw against Kasparov, Magnus celebrated in the sweetest way possible, with an ice cream party alongside his family. A well-deserved treat for an extraordinary achievement. Chess, with its strategic depth and complexity, is more than just a game. It's an art form where minds collide, and every move counts. The young prodigy at just 13 years old demonstrated exceptional skill, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the world champion and emerging with a draw. If you were in Magnus Carlsen's shoes, how would you have tackled Kasparov's pinning maneuver? And if you could play a game of chess against anyone, living or historical figure, who would it be? Leave your answers in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys soon.